good everyone my name is graphics today we want to construct a pentagon not only a pentagon we are constructing we are also inscribing five circles into a pentagon right so first of all let's of all construct the pentagon first so the first thing first of all do you should draw a line this way Right, you draw a line, move towards the center. You draw a line this way, faint line. You can see that. Then you see the size of the pentagon is 40. So I am going to measure 40. Right, so from I take this point here, be my point A. And I'll measure 40. So I'm starting from 1. You can see that? So from 1 to 5 is 40. Is that taking? Now I will now take in it because that is what I actually need. So A to B. Let me just zoom it out. So A to B. Is 40. Now the next thing I'll do, I'm going to pick up my compass, right? This is my compass, and I'll place it at this two end here. Can you see that? Place at this two end here, and I am going to draw a curve, a circle, faint line. You can see that. And I'll place in the other aspect too, the other point B. I'm going to draw another circle. Let me show you. So I'll draw another circle. Can you see that? So this is point A, B. Now the next thing I'll do is where these two point circle meet, I'll call this point here to be point C, right? And I also call this point here to be point D. I mean this point here. So I'm going to take my rule and I'll measure a line that will pass through both of them, point C and D. Faint line. Can you see that? Now the next thing is. With the same radius, without shaking it, AB. No, the same radius I meant is from A to B here, you can see. I'll place it at this point D. And I'll draw another circle. But I will not complete the circle if I want to. I can just, if I like, I can complete it if I want to. Right? So, in doing that, where it meets here, I'm going to call it point E and uh, where it meets here I'll call it point F and when it meets here I'll call it point G now draw a line that will pass through EG a line with EG like this so it will cut the other circle at the other end so I'll call this point it cuts here to be what? H then I will draw another line that will pass through FG, right, this way. So where it cuts, I'll call it point I. Is that again? Now what will I do? I'm going to join G. I'm going to join A and I together because a, a pentagon is a polygon that is bounded by five equal lines. Right? So this is A, I. I will join another point again. B, H. You can see that? B, H. Now, 
the same radius AB from the beginning, same radius AB, right? Then adjust my compass. I'll place it at H, right? And I'll strike an arc. So let's see. Place at H and I'll strike a what? An arc. Place it at H, strike an arc. Can you see that? And I place it at I, I also strike another arc. So you see that they are meeting at this point here. Yes? I'll just come in with that point, point K. It's not necessary that you must be putting those alphabets. I'm just using it to teach you. So I'll join these two to here. I and K. Then um, H and K. Now this is my pentagon here. Right? So now this is a pentagon that has five equal parts now what you need to know in my previous video when i talked about polygons using general method i said an equilateral triangle is a kind of polygon so it means that two or more triangles can form a polygon now let's see what will happen here right let's see what will happen let me zoom this so you ha understand what i'm trying to explain to you Let's zoom it in again. Zoom. Now, the next thing we should do in this polygon is we want to draw five circles in this polygon. And not just drawing the five circles, we must ensure that the circles are tangential to each other. That means they must be touching each other. And they must also be tangential to the walls of what? Of the polygon. Now, these are the walls of the polygon, right? So, we want to draw five circles in this. Now, there's a secret I need to make you understand here. We said that a polygon is a quadrilateral that has more than three equal sides, right? Now, a good example of a polygon that we know is a triangle is also a polygon not just a triangle an equilateral triangle because it has what five i mean it has what three equal sides right now do you know that a triangle a polygon is made up of triangles if it is a pentagon it's made up of five sides meaning it means it has five triangles hexagon has six sides means it has six triangles heptagon has seven triangles and so on and so forth now let's not take this as a case study and see how many triangles we have here now in drawing this i just cleaned all my construction work here which you don't have to do because i am explaining to you this is why i clean them off so you actually see what i'm trying to do here now first of all i need to get the center of this polygon right how will I get the center of this polygon? This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to bisect any two of the five sides to get the center of this polygon. Right? So let's do that and see. If I bisect B and H, right? I am going to have, I'll cut this side and I'll cut this side. Right? And I'll place it at H also. I'll cut here. And I'll also cut here. So where they meet, right? I'm going to draw my line that is going to pass through those intersections. Right? So if I do that, I'll be having something like this. can see that then I'll take another point too maybe I should take um, A and B 
maybe I should take A and B. I'll place it at B to A. Alright. B to A. And I'll strike in. And I'll strike out. I'll come here also. I'll cut here. And I'll cut here. So where they meet, I'll draw my line to pass through those points. So they are meeting here and here. Right? So I'm going to draw. Now I've gotten the center of the polygon, which is the pentagon. Now what do you know, then you will now use all these points to pass to the center touching the opposite side. So from my A also I'll place it at point A passing through the center to touch the opposite side. Can you see? My B passing through the center to touch the opposite side. My C my H passing through the center to touch the opposite side. You can see that so I've successfully done all that. Is that taken? So how many sides did I need? I need five sides. So this is from A B. They have a common center which is what C. So A B C is one triangle. A I C is another triangle. I C J is another triangle. I H C is another triangle. Then B C H is another word triangle. So we have five triangles. So having five triangles means that we have five circles. Because if you watch my previous video when I talked about inscribing a circle in a triangle, discover that this is you can easily get an inscribed circle in this triangle, right? So let me zoom it more so you see. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So now we want to consider triangle what? Triangle A, B, and C by inscribing a circle inside of it. So what I will do, what are the criteria, what are the conditions for inscribing a circle in a triangle? Is by bisecting two of any of the three angles. So this triangle here, one, it has angle A, angle B, and what? Angle C. So I'm going to place it at point B right and I am going to draw an arc this way you can see that so what it, where it touches here I will strike an arc like this and what it where it touches here I will also strike another arc I'll do the same thing here also. The same measurement. I'm going to strike an arc here. Right? Where it touches here, I will cut here like this. And where it touches here, I'm going to cut here too, this way. By set. So I'll take my rule and I'm going to draw a line from A. That is passing through this point where they meet. Right? So, in doing that, I will have this. The faint line. And I'll do the same thing here also. In doing that, I'm going to have this. So, I'll put it here. Passing through that point of bisection which is here right here so I'm going to do that so in doing that they are meeting at this point here so where they meet I will draw an arc a circle so place my compass at this center here where this line and this line which is at this point here 
you can see that and i will gauge it this way so drink it this way i'll have this so that will be the first one you can see it is tangential to the part so in order to avoid repeating the same procedure what i will do is i will place my compass at the center c here and i'll take it to this point of the center here you can see that at this point here mm. and um, i will draw a kind of circle this way faint line so that circle means that I automatically have five centers this is one center another center another center and so on and so forth so i want to go to triangle two so i'll just place it here a triangle two here then i'm going to gauge where i can draw my circle to I hope you can see that So I'll just do this. You need to be very careful. Very, very careful. I'm doing that. I have this. So that is the next one. Right? So I'll complete the same process. I'm going to come here also. I'll press that three. Right? and do the next thing you must touch through you must touch through avoid it from so you do the same thing and you have this right now you go to the next one also and that is triangle four you place that the point four here and you do the same thing so you must do the same thing here you gauge it and you turn right then you come to the next one you didn't listen at five. Listen at five and same process. So in doing that, they must surely touch each other. How good? So this is how you can inscribe five circles in a polygon, right? So if this video has been helpful don't forget to click on the subscribe button